Hello everyone, this is Mike Sangvi and I am back with another Cognos Report Studio tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn about different types of filter available in Report Studio. So let's start and in my previous video I explained how to create a query, how to create a list and finally how to apply a filter. But I didn't explain different types of filter available in Report Studio. So this in this video we are going to learn about different types of filters available in Report Studio. And for this I want to create a list and I'm going to for the time being I want to add customer ID and total due in my list so drag and drop and next thing I want to change the behavior of customer ID right now it is a measure and I don't want to perform any aggregation on this so that's why I'm going to right click go to query customer ID and I don't want any aggregate function for this column so change it to none and same thing for roll up aggregation function none okay and as a best practice we have to always rename our query so I'm going to rename it Q I want to rename this as a Q and customer okay or customer order and finally I want to rename my list right and it's time to run our report this is the output of your report okay next thing we are going to apply a filter on our list and I want to apply a filter on on my total view. Now you have multiple options to create a filter. First is detail filter and summary filter. Inside detail filter again you have two options. One is before auto aggregation and second is after auto aggregation. So let's create first a detail filter with before auto aggregation. For this you have to click on add. I want total view as a filter column. I want to apply I want to uh, apply a comparison on my total due and I want all the records where total due is less than 500 click on ok and your first filter is created for the first scenario I want to select before auto aggregation and click on ok it's time to run our report again and your report is generated successfully and let me quickly uh, let me quickly copy this output or windows r ms paint okay so this is my first output and now i want to check the generated sql query how to check generated sql query for this you have to click on tools shows generated sql mdx and then we have to select the generated SQL query and this is our first query this is my query one where we created a detail filter and inside detail filter we selected before auto aggregation And this is our query. This is the column customer ID. This is total due column. This is the from clause. This is where clause, and this is group by clause. Okay. The next thing I want to generate, uh, and the next thing I want to use after auto aggregation. For this, we have to go on Report Studio close this generated SQL window and select your list edit filters now we have to change its behavior to after auto aggregation click on this check uh, click on this radio button and ok and it's time to execute our report once more and our report is generated successfully this is the output for your first query and this is the output of your second query 
I hope you are able to see the difference between your first output and the second output. Okay, if it is not clear, then let me show you the generated SQL query for this scenario. For this, we have to click on Tools and show generated SQL MDX. Let me copy this and I want to paste in my SQL Server Management Studio. This is my second query and we selected after auto aggregation. This is our customer ID column, this is our total due, this is from clause, group bar and having clause. I hope you are able to see the difference. In our first query where we selected before auto aggregation, in this scenario, the filter is applied in where clause. And in our second query where we used after auto aggregation, in this scenario our filter is applied in having clause. Okay. So what is the difference? In case of before auto aggregation, your filter condition is applied for each and every record. And in case of after auto aggregation, first your data is aggregated and then your filter is applied on aggregated data. And let me execute both this query to check the data. And right now we are getting lots of records. So let me reduce the total due okay and this time we are checking with value 100 I execute this and still we are getting lots of record but if you are able to see the number of rows here for first query we have 4525 rows and for second we have 3413 rows let me reduce this more and it's time I want to use 20 and let's execute this once more again so many records but in case of first query we got 1274 rows and for our second query we got 622 rows let me try once more 5 and 5 Okay, so our first query where we use filter as a before auto aggregation for first query we have 174 rows and for our second query where we are using detail filter with after auto aggregation we have only 10 rows. Now I hope you are able to understand the difference between difference between before auto aggregation and after auto aggregation and you are able to answer it properly the next thing we have to learn about summary filter okay okay again I am going to use the same total due less than 500 in summary filter okay and before creating a same summary filter I want to delete this existing filter for this you have to select your filter and click on this delete Go to Summary Filter tab and click on Add. I want to use Total Due. OK. And I want to apply a comparison on Total Due where my amount is less than 500. OK. Click on OK to save these changes and it's time to run our report once more. Okay, and our report is generated with no data. Now, what is wrong here? Uh, for this, uh, let me go back inside this and let's see the generated SQL query. And copy this query in SQL Server Management Studio. This is our query 3 summary filter. Okay. So this is our customer ID column, this is our total due column, this is our table and group bar. And where the hell is the filter condition? Okay, when we have to work with some filter, then we have to define a scope. And for this we have to change our report slightly. 
Okay, click on close the generator SQL and I want to apply a group on my customer ID and then we have to go in filter edit filter summary filter select your filter and select the scope to customer ID click on ok ok and it's time to generate or uh, it's time to run our report finally we got output ok so close this and why I created a group here and for this let me undo my last action okay and we are back where our summary filter is created where total u is less than 50 okay as I mentioned that we have to define a scope for this let me go to summary filter again total u I want to define a scope to customer ID click on ok click on ok and run your report again our report has been submitted and we got something is wrong unable to find the level customer ID used in summary filter ok if we want to avoid this error message then we have to first convert this into a group and then we have to use scope our report is generated successfully now it's time to check the generated SQL query for this scenario so generated SQL MDX let me copy this here yeah, and I don't want this query anymore so let me this is my updated query sum from group bar and this is my hair having clause and order back with one it means customer ID now you can ask a question that whether what is the difference between your detail filter with after auto aggregation and the summary filter in this scenario our generated SQL query is same forget about the limit now here this query query 2 where you used a detail filter as a after auto aggregation and your third query where you used a filter or you used a summary filter the generated SQL query is same now what is the difference between after auto aggregation and summary filter ok for this I want to modify my report a little bit let me close this and now undo your last action this is our normal list and in this I want to add one more column and this time I'm going to add year column ok and finally go to query select list and go to query and I want to change the behavior of year column aggregate function none roll up aggregate function none ok and the next thing I want to apply a group on year and customer ID ok and then we have to modify our filter summary filter and I am going to delete this filter add a new filter create a filter and I this time we are going to create an advanced filter ok and now I want to check this total due equals to maximum maximum total due for customer ID ok and in the scope select here click on ok click on ok and run your report and no data uh, available now something is wrong with our filter so let me go and check edit filter summary filter and customer ID maximum 
okay okay sorry guys sorry I'm really sorry for this silly mistake uh, I want ear here click on ok and inside this this is my scope okay mm. and inside scope we want customer ID click on ok and run your report once more and finally your report is generated now what is what we are doing here for this let me open excel and in my excel I created a simple example this is my table contains customer purchase order so the first column is year and customer ID and total due now what I had to find the all the customer done the maximum amount of purchase in particular year for this define a window we define a scope for you have to focus on the particular year okay now in your particular year you have to find the maximum customer maximum purchase done by a customer so in this example the maximum purchase done in year 2005 is by customer ID 1 and the total due is 75 and the same thing for 2006 the maximum purchase done by a customer is this with total due 41 we achieve the same thing in summary filter here so this is all the customer IDs who done the maximum amount of purchasing in year 2005 then go down again 2005 all this customer with highest purchasing and 2005 still 2005 is running and we got a 2006 the total due is same in 2006 also Okay, so let me quickly go down go down and finally uh, we got a customer ID in 2007 with maximum purchase done of 11,127 and in, in, in year 2008 we got a customer ID with total purchase done of 7,461 now what is the difference between summary filter and after auto aggregation you can use a summary filter where you want to define a scope and then you have to perform or you have to filter something based on this scope so this is the difference between auto aggregation detail filter with auto aggregation and summary filter and this is the difference between detail filter and summary filter I hope now you are able to understand all the available types of filter in report studio you are able to use it properly for your reports and if you are still facing any issue if you have any doubts just leave it in comment section I will try to reply as soon as possible with proper resolution so thank you for watching don't forget to click on subscribe and like button and see you all in next report studio tutorial video